Before we get started, word to the bad guys. The green crystal is a mark of a Jedi counselor. These wise warriors seek peace, not war, and will rather talk out their differences than reward you with a beatdown, unless you back them into a corner, of course. So tread lightly. After the opening narration, we learn that this is a story of a warrior who kept having these premonitions of pain, suffering, slash death. Normally, I don't really take nightmares serious unless they're on Elm Street, but in this case, the vision holds weight because of the dreamer in question. He's labeled the chosen one in a jury of his superiors and everybody agrees that he'll one day be the dude to bring balance. Everybody except that one master. He's pissed that the alleged chosen one starts moving up in the world. I'm not saying the alleged chosen one's perfect. I'm just saying give him a chance to fail first, then hate on him after that, not before. Meanwhile, there's this bad guy and he's handcuffed with nowhere to go. You're like, yay! Because you do the crime, you do the time. But then you're like, because he's able to break free. Later, all the people in the movie go to the arena for a big show and the house is packed. But the main character arrives fashionably late and has trouble finding a seat. It's here where the main guy is assigned to a new master. From the main guy's point of view, this is a win-win because now his new master could unlock his hidden potential and he'll be the strongest dude in the universe and no one will be able to defeat him because it turned out so perfectly for the master's last apprentice. The new master tells him a story about the key to limitless power. It seems like he made the whole thing up, but he doesn't laugh once, so you can't really tell. I'm not gonna lie. Him and his new masters don't get along at first, but just like any relationship, it takes time. See, I know that, you know that. But our main guy has issues focusing on what was or what will be way too much. These demons keep him and the people closest to him up at night. He goes to the old wise green guy for advice. The old guy gives him a two minute pep talk on letting go, but it takes like half an hour because he talks like the wheelchair kid from Malcolm in the Middle. Fast forward some, and after numerous times of having attitude problems and embarrassing his mentor in front of the master, now the pupil is neck deep in the dark dark side and nothing could stop him. He whoops all the other warriors without even trying. The one guy who witnessed the whole thing snitches and warns the master about the threat heading their way. When the masters learn that one of their students is going around performing terrorist attacks on the city, it's bad publicity and the green guy's like, oh gonna take a sick day and the other dude says there's no way i'm fighting that dude he's my apprentice and i love him way too much the lie detector test determined that was a lie <laughs> because when we jump ahead it's one thing to say that but it's another thing to mean it at the part when the bad guy makes his way to the temple it's the worst beating i've ever seen in 1080p after he starts choking the hell out of this one character the hero steps in and he's like hey bro try that on somebody your own size they fight and they're pretty evenly matched for the most part with nobody being able to gain leverage speaking of leverage okay so after the floating hoverboards part, the bad one does this Air Jordan Jumpman move and it works the first time. But then he tries to do it again and the good guy is all like, I have the high ground. You underestimate my power. At the end, if you control alt delete the big picture and read through the subtext of the movie, there's an important message to be learned. See, if you're gonna put your baby up for adoption, that's your business. But if you wanna keep the adoption a secret, try and find parents that resemble his or her features so he or she's not left asking a lot of questions in the sequel. Those are 24 reasons these movies are the same. You agree? Yes, no, maybe so? If not, politely share your thoughts in the comment section below and click the subscribe button for more 24 reason videos. <gasps> Elevator music I've ever heard.